Back once again in the Cooler Master Lab, and today it's all about Elite 130. That's the upgraded version of our Elite 120 Mini ITX case. It has much better cooling performance because it has a full mesh front panel. So the air can go in the front and just go straight through the case and out in the back. So much better thermals. And it supports water cooling as well. That's really nice. You can have water cooling in that case, radiator in the front, and cool the CPU, get really good temperatures. And it has basically the same idea as the Elite 120. You can take all your components from a full-size desktop PC and move it into a mini ITX case like this. So you don't have to upgrade any of the components except for the motherboard. Everything else you can just reuse. You can have a full-size power supply. It supports the biggest graphics cards, Titan, HD7990, no problem. Hard drives, even an optical drive slot for the ones of you that still actually use it. On the front of the box you can see all the main features and you see a nice little drawing. Full mesh front panel for extreme airflow. That's what I was talking about. Contrary to the Elite 120, the previous model, which had a nice aluminum plate right here, which looked cool. The Elite 130 has a nice big mesh right here. So the air goes in right in the front, goes through the case. Really good thermals, really good cooling performance and liquid cooling support, 120 millimeter radiator support. You can actually install a 120 millimeter liquid cooling solution in here, even the thick radiators, there's plenty of space. Ample storage, up to one ODD, three HDDs and five SSDs. So you can install a lot of storage in this case and it even supports an ODD for the ones of you that actually use it. Or you can install a fan controller here, whatever. High-end support, full-size power supply, long VGAs. You can install even the long 17 centimeter power supplies, ATX power supplies in here. Fits perfectly fine. You can have HD 7990s in here, well, one. You can have a Titan in here, any high-end graphics card fits. High-speed USB ports, two USB 3 ports on the left side and a USB 2 port on the right side as well. Let me flip it over, I cut the sound. And on the back of the box, you can see the most important specifications. I'm not gonna read all of them. Interesting is the weight is pretty low, only 3.1 kilos. Um, the optical drives, art drives are already explained. Cooling system it supports a 120 mm fan in the front and an 80 mm fan on the side, same as the Elite 120. So that's really nice to cool your motherboard, some extra fresh air from the side. Power supply, standard power supplies, and maximum compatibility, this is interesting. VGA card length up to 343 millimeters. There's no graphics card with this length on the market. CPU cooler height, 65 millimeter. That's pretty good for such a small case. PSU length up to 18 centimeters, actually. So I don't even know of any 18 centimeter long power supply. 17, I think, is the longest I've seen. And you have all the information about our different branch offices worldwide and you have the information how to contact our support. 24-7 live chat, any questions about our products, does my graphics card fit in this case, just ask our support guys. And there it is, beautiful design, isn't it? Here you can see all the front mesh and even the Cooler Master logo has been moved to the center. This is where the center of the fan is as well. So this doesn't hurt the airflow. The logo doesn't block the airflow. So it's all about airflow. You can see all about airflow. There's an 80 millimeter fan on the side, cooling the motherboard, lots of preparation on top. You can rotate the power supply and either have the power supply breathing fresh air from outside the case at the top and exhausting it at the back, or you can rotate it in case you're using water cooling, for example. And then the power supply is sucking in the warm air from above the motherboard, the memory, helping the, the system overall ventilation and blowing out the hot air in the back. 
dual slot graphics cards, high-end graphics card supported, no problem. And all about airflow again. You can have a high-end graphics card here, ideally with a blower fan, and it's sucking in fresh air from outside the case and venting the hot air in the back. So the graphics card is essentially outside of the case almost. It's like in an open test bed. It's breathing room air. It's not breathing hot air from inside the case. So all about airflow. Inside the case we see a plastic bag with all the little parts you need attached to the 5.25 inch bay. We have all the cables coming from the front I.O. tied in here and you can see there's the USB 3 internal. We have all the power, reset, hard drive LED. We have the USB 2 as well, AC97, HD audio of course. And then on the other side here we have the 80mm fan that cools your motherboard. This part can actually be removed attached with two screws on the bottom so you can remove this in case it doesn't really help with the airflow inside your configuration and it comes with a three pin header but it can also be attached to your power supply directly in case your motherboard doesn't have enough ports and you just want it to run at full speed the whole time it's pretty quiet so you can just hook it up to the power supply and have it run full speed and big difference compared to the elite 120 you have this extra bracket where you can install another hard drive right here and an ssd right here and on the top you can see you can install two ssds here and you can install another ssd under here i'll show you later and at the bottom you can install a hard drive here as well and an ssd in case you don't install a hard drive and of course in the front let me just pop off the front panel there you go there's the silent fan we have right here and this can be removed and you can install a radiator there and what's really cool about the elite 130 i really like this case for this feature alone is you can have a fan radiator fan hard drive and then the motherboard so it's incredibly compact there's barely any gap at all every millimeter in this case the length of the case is used if you really use it and install water cooling and hot drives and really fill all the slots Here we see all the accessory that comes in the plastic bag that I just showed you earlier. There's a little piezo speaker that you can attach to your motherboard for debugging. You have some cable ties to do cable management. There's lots of hooks in Elite 130 to do really nice cable management. And then you have these screws to install SSDs. You use these screws for SSDs and attach those little rubber knobs to them and then slide the SSDs in. We'll show you later in detail. And these are the same screws, but for hard drives. You'll see they're a little bit bigger. So make sure you use the right ones. These are for SSDs, these are for hard drives. Then these are for installing your optical drive in case you're using one or also some SSDs if they have different mounting holes. And these are to secure the motherboard inside the case. And these are the motherboard standoffs, the most important, of course. And they come with a little tool that you use a screwdriver with to install them. Hey guys, my name is Sean from Silverstone. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the newest member of our Mino series family, the ML10. The story behind this chassis was to create the smallest yet compact slim mini ITX chassis while being highly flexible at the same time. Hence, we created this modular design that allows it to increase in size if needed, which includes two top covers and two interchangeable bezels, allowing it to be as small as 2.8 liters in total volume or 3.7 liters if you wish to install a taller CPU cooler or have a wider storage option. The ML10 has an elegant brush front bezel with two USB 3.0s. Solid steel body structure with an interior that's designed for a compact build, optimized for efficient airflow. It features three 50 millimeter fan mounts on the side with a 15 millimeter clearance from the edge of the motherboard. The elevated top cover also includes a 120 millimeter or a 140 millimeter fan mount and ventilation holes for the standard top cover. Due to the flexibility from its modular design, it allows different configurations to accommodate various storage of components based on the height of your CPU coolers. For instance, the standard top cover you can install a 7mm high 2.5 inch drive 
with a CPU cooler no higher than 31 millimeters. For the elevated top cover, 31mm cooler clearance if you wish to install only one 3.5 inch drive. Thirty eight millimeters if you wish to install a one hundred and twenty millimeter or a one hundred and forty millimeter fan with a twenty five millimeter thickness. Forty nine millimeters if you wish to install seven millimeter height two point five inch drives. And 63 total clearance if you wish to use an M.2 drive without installing either 2.5 inch drive, 3.5 inch drive or a top fan. When you remove the standoffs included, you can still install a slim 9.5mm slim optical drive on top of the drive bracket when you have 2.5 inch drive installed or neither 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives. Another feature for this case is that it could be placed vertically or horizontally or if you wish to save space, a vest mount is also included so you can hide the case behind your monitor if you wish to do so. Hopefully you guys like this case as much as we do. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.